Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here, and today I'm doing my review of Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Yep. Um, so, I think, you know, this uh, franchise really uh, went off the rails at 3, um, so here we are at 4. And this one is better than three, but um, yeah, it's not very good. Um, Laurie Strode does not return in this film. Um, we have a new cast of characters for um, Michael Myers to slaughter. <laughs> okay. Um, we have Rachel, um, who is a... Um, a, I believe she's in high school. Um, she's a high school student who um, doesn't really have a lot of character to her, to be honest. I mean, the actress is fine in the film, um, but that's all I really have to say about her. Like, she's fine. She's in the movie. She's not bad. She's just there. She exists in the film. Um, we have... Um, so we have Laurie Strode's daughter, um, who is, you know, who since it's revealed in, I believe, the second one, that Michael Myers and Laurie Strode are brother and sister. Yeah. Um, since it's revealed, um, this is Michael Myers' his niece and and uh she is having like nightmares about michael myers about you know the the killer and she's seeing things in her head she's seeing like her looking like the boy michael the the boy michael myers the kid from the first film uh, in the scene, she's seeing her, you know, that in herself. Um, she is seeing, you know, uh, uh, Michael Myers kill people from you know, further away, which is weird. Like, it kind of brings, like, a more... So the first one was grounded. The first film was grounded, and I think that that's why it worked really well. Because it was grounded in kind of a a potential reality of this psycho kid killing his sister and then growing up and escaping a mental institution and killing, you know, other kids um, around the, the town of, of Haddonfield. Like, you could, that could logically happen. It could happen. It's unlikely, sure, but it could happen. It has some reality with it this film michael myers is he's immortal like he is immortal so many things happen to him that should kill him and it just doesn't and like that could work sure that kid that could work but when there's no like real setup for it i mean i guess there was kind of i mean michael myers was not in the third one but like they set up kind of an of a paranormal type element in that film. So I guess if you say that they're in the same universe, that this could work, that he is actually like, he is pure evil and he, he is unkillable basically. Like that can work. I just don't feel like it works here. I don't feel like it works in this film uh, specifically. Um, I don't think it works her, like, seeing his kills as they're happening when she's, like, not in even the vicinity of the murder. Um, it's, it's a little, again, it's just, th there's just things that happen in this film that I just can't get behind. And that is part of it. And, um, I'm not, like, this is definitely not the worst of the, the Halloween films. Um, the, the Rob Zombie ones are pretty bad, um... And a bunch of the other ones are pretty bad. 
Um, I remember liking this movie when I grew up, when I was growing up, honestly. I, um, I, I'd only seen it once or twice, I think, but, like, I remember thinking it was okay when I was, like, younger. Watching it now? No. Um, the kills? There are literally kills that happen off screen. Like, and that, that, like, I hate when that happens in films. I hate when we have a slasher film and murders kills are happening off happening off screen that should never happen in one of these films like they just like you just have like two characters talking about it after it happens and it's like when did that happen oh wait yeah, yeah it didn't happen in the film at least i mean it did happen off screen that should just shouldn't happen it shouldn't happen and if it does happen if you have to write that in very well you have to make it work and it just doesn't work here at all it should have happened in this film. It did happen. And that's bad. That's bad. If you don't have a reason for it, it shouldn't happen. And there was no reason for it here. There was no reason. There was no rhyme or reason to have that happen. Now, uh, as far as a rating goes, I don't know, four, five, four and a half, four and a half. Split it down the middle, four and a half out of ten. It's not the worst film I've ever seen. Um, it's definitely not the best, though. Um, it's not Cats, but it's also not The Godfather. So, do with that what you will. It's somewhere in the middle. Um, I could have given it a 5, and I would have felt comfortable. I could have given it a 4, and I would have felt comfortable. But 4.5, I think, splits it right down the middle, and I think I'm more comfortable with that rating. Um, it's, it's just blah. It's blah. Oh, well. Um, at the end of the day, um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, you can follow me on Twitter in the link in the description below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time.